this video will save you 11 or more years of your life getting wasted. Here's how. The average person spends about four hours every single day on their phone. And if you can reduce that to only one hour every day, you'll save more than 11 years of your life. If you think that sounds completely unrealistic, it's not. Here's why. If you reduce your screen time with three hours every day, in a year you will save 1095 hours. And considering most of us are only awake for 5840 hours a year, getting rid of three hours of meaningless scrolling every single day will free up 18.75% of your whole time. Imagine what you could achieve if you dedicated these whole 10 years to something else. And if you had freed up 10 years or more of your life, wouldn't you rather use those 10 years to figure a way to be financially free or allocate those 10 years to mastering a skill so that after 10 years, you'll be world-class at it? Or would you rather use those 10 years scrolling on Instagram and TikTok. So to free up 10 plus years of our life, all we need to do is to reduce our screen time from four hours to only one hour. And one hour a day might sound a little bit extreme for a lot of you guys, especially because a lot of you guys think that the phone is such an important tool of our life. And I definitely agree, the phone is definitely a useful tool. But if you're mindful and intentional each time you use your phone, one hour a day is more than enough for most of us. So the first thing you should do and the most impactful thing you can do to reduce your screen time is to delete all the app that steals your time the most. This action is the action that will save you the most amount of time. And here's a list of apps I think you should definitely delete. You use these apps for work or communication well, there's a desktop version of all of these apps. And if you need these apps for a dialogue, well, ask them to switch the conversation over to WhatsApp or different messenger app. The second thing you need to do is to turn off, tap and raise to wake. Here's how you do it on your phone. This is really useful for eliminating all unnecessary times you check your phone. Also give you time to think twice before pressing a physical button on the side of your phone to turn your phone on. The third thing you need to do to reduce your phone usage is to turn off all notifications. Turning off all notification and even notification on text and also work apps will help you use your phone less, but on text messages and work apps, you can keep those badges on. It will let you know if it's necessary to open those apps or if it's just a waste of time. The next thing you need to do might be a little bit extreme, but damn is it effective and that is to turn on grayscale color filter. Studies have been shown that colors and design makes us human psychologically curious. That's why certain apps have certain color waves and certain design because they want to grab our attention. But by making everything gray and black will make all the app way less interesting to use. Number five is to remove all apps from home page. This is great because it makes you less curious to check out other apps each time you use your phone for something meaningful. And don't worry, doing this won't delete all of your apps. You can still find it, but you have to search it up manually. And doing this will make you a lot more mindful each time you use your phone. The last step is a no-brainer, but it is to turn your phone on silent mode, turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Sound and vibration from notification can destroy your focus. And turning off Bluetooth is also important, especially if you have a smartwatch, so you avoid getting those notifications on your smartwatch. It's very important for you to remember that we use our phone to kill time. So if you use my tips now and free up a couple hours every day, Remember to fill that time up doing something meaningful or something that have a positive impact on you. Because if you don't fill up that time, it's a huge possibility that you will go back to scrolling your phone to kill that time that you initially freed up. I hope you found this video useful. If you like this type of content, consider to subscribe or check out this video. Stay curious, keep thriving, and I see you guys on the next one. Peace!